Stephen Wyatt, uh, guest presenter on Colin's Video Diaries, uh, here to talk to you about day three, which was, uh, was that yesterday, Colin? That was yesterday, that was yesterday yes. Yesterday. Um, yeah, we, we, we woke uh, fairly leisurely. Andy was feeling a great deal better than he was uh, when he we went mm. to bed the night before. Um, we cooked up some, some coffee and porridge for lunch, took down the tent fairly leisurely, and I think we hit the road by about 10, 30, 11 or so, and cruised probably what couldn't have been more than 45 k's on the flat into Nagatsi. Uh, we rocked up there for lunch time. Pretty grotty town, really. Mainly new build, Chinese development. Um, with a slightly more interesting Tibetan quarter, which we explored after lunch. Um, we tried to find an interesting independent hostel, but seemed to be ushered to a sort of a new build Chinese type of place, which, um, which was pretty characterless and probably full of botulism, because it certainly smelt that way. Um, following lunch, we explored one of, the, uh, one of the ancient forts up above the town, which was quite interesting. Um, Andy and I then went on to discover the old town for ourselves. Colin left us at that point because he had a an appointment with the uh, the long drop. Um, one of the highlights for me was Andy playing uh, playing bull mastiff dog, um, jumping out, uh, frightened me rather, and then we were both frightened by a real life dog, uh, which was quite amusing. Um, and then we sort of returned to crash out for a bit, and then had some had some nice dinner. Um, and then then I went to bed quite early because we had quite a quite a big day the following day. Um, sleep was somewhat interrupted by uh, the Chinese secret police rapping on the shutters to our hostel at about 11.30, 12 o'clock that night. Um, Andy and I were very much, uh, very much on the ball, uh, Andy locking the door, me shining a torch to try and attract attention, um, and Colin pretending to be asleep. But uh, we survived that little incident and um, thankfully we were able to get up early the next day for day four. Over and out.